okay you're on personal video I'm just gonna show you a couple of things since I won't be there in person then it'll kind of be like a personal delivery for you so if ever in the event your cameras say park assist blocked or something like that you have a couple cameras on your vehicle so one is located right here so you just come and rub it off then who look how beautiful she is did you come up with a name yet for your new ride and then here's a couple more cameras back here as well so then you would just kind of rub them off rub it off and if you need to lift your tailgate right here manually but you also have it on your fob so I'll show you a couple of things inside before I forget if you have the key fob in your pocket and you're within five feet you can lock and unlock by pressing this button one time is for drivers two times is for all of the other doors obviously power seat you've got all-weather mats here's your tailgate to lift as well you can press it in Bose stereo system here's your lights they're set on auto this is for your fog lights and this is for your interior lights like your dash to make it lighter or brighter your heated steering wheel it's on forward collision alert you cannot completely shut this off <clears throat> then your windshield wipers twist it for the back one it is a push start so once you have the key fob inside the vehicle then you just get in you push the brake down and hit that you do not have to have the brake engaged to shut it off you just press the button your info guide up top so what you see you use these arrows up or down so if I'm going up oops it's a different setup so if I go left arrow button or right arrow button then you will switch to info then you can cruise using the up or down to reset you press and hold the check mark and it resets it to zero press and hold your check mark and it'll reset then you can write arrow button this will show what is being played on your radio then you've got kind of your compass or navigation they call it then your phone and then settings if you go uh, arrow down you can set a speed warning um, so if you want your car to alarm you if you go past 73 miles an hour it'll just beep at you and if it beeps you can just press the check mark and check mark to dismiss it um, I'm not gonna set it for you so we're gonna go back left arrow button all the way back to your info or your home page it'll be kind of confusing for a little while but no worries you'll get it now once you pair your cell phone so you want to hit phone on your home screen then you would hit connect phone and make sure your Bluetooth is on then um, you will look for my Chevrolet or Chevrolet my link or something like that and then click on that and it'll give you a code then you'll say yes and you'll say pair on your phone your favorite best friend for this whole screen right here is this little house button that takes you to all of your fun stuff so audio obviously your radio so if we are going to go to XM radio now if you want to browse you can go pop dance rock country hip-hop Christian all of that good stuff um, let's go to pop here just for fun well obviously it's not letting me do that but sometimes it doesn't like to coordinate with me but I just want to show you so double click if you want to save oops well let's just do this one so press and hold until it beeps once you set more 
you can cruise through or you can slide just so you know house button go to navigation you can type in an address right right away and then there will be a little arrow button to go house button you can set up different users so if there's more than one driver you can um, type in your information and it'll save like your favorites um, kind of a tutorial I always tell everybody just hang out in your driveway and mess with it this little button you have a little secret compartment cha-ching and then press and hold it again we'll go down to your heated seats so three high two medium one low and you're off one more time um, up top so you've got a slide and a tilt for only this sunroof right here the other sunroof is strictly just a roof for sun um, your little shade right here it's a little trickery I'll show you so you're gonna close it then you have to kind of push forward and push up and then it releases just so you don't break it um, your shift select right here so you can just toggle it now I'm in two-wheel drive this little button is lane change assist so if you see this illuminated It'll rump with your hiney if you end up going over a line and you don't have your blinker on. So let's say you're driving down the highway and the road gets really crappy. Make sure you are not going faster than 45 miles an hour. Let off the gas and then just toggle this to all-wheel drive. Then slowly increase your speed after about a second. And we can go back. No, oh, apparently it doesn't really like me. There we go. Um, your parking brake. So like old school, to set it, all you do is pull up on it. Now to release it, you have to put your foot on the brake and then press down. If you forget this, it'll tell you on your little info guide up there. Um, regular park, reverse, neutral, drive, and low. Your low is where you can shift up or down manually. And then last but least, I will pre-enroll your OnStar. When you get in your vehicle and you're heading out on the highway, you can just press this little middle blue OnStar button and finish your welcome call. You get one month for free. They'll offer you two months additional if you put a card on file. That's up to you, but you have to pay attention to your email. Otherwise, they're going to charge you. Um, your fan, that's kind of a little secret right there. It's kind of hidden. But if you have any questions and you're in your vehicle, call me. I can walk you through whatever. So hopefully, this helps you. Good luck, and they will see you tomorrow.